Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to be talking about linear models. And of course, this is related to uh, the topic of linear functions. Uh, this is a big topic in algebra. And anytime you hear the word uh, linear, what we're talking about is lines, right? So graphing lines, writing the equations of lines. This is a real kind of basic skill that you learn in like first year algebra. But what I have here uh, for you is a nice practice problem relating to the topic again of a linear model. So let me go ahead and read you the problem. It's actually a three part problem. It says to produce copies of a book, it cost uh, $220.50 for setup and $4.90 per copy. So we want to answer three specific things here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to construct or write a linear model. Uh, that relates the cost to produce books, the total cost to produce books, to the number of copies you want to make. Okay, so for example, if you wanted to make 75 copies, uh, you know, how much uh, would that cost? And you want to construct uh, a model, right, using algebra uh, to kind of, you know, have a general equation or formula for uh, that describes the total cost of books to the number of copies that you want. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. But again, this is uh, what a linear model is. Now, there um, are a few different ways you could approach this. So you may do this correctly, but it may not be what I have. But I'll answer all this in a second. Uh, now, the second part of this question is, how much uh, will it cost to produce 500 books? And then how many books, this is part C of this question, how many books can uh, be made for $700, right? So $700 is your uh, budget to produce books. How many books could you produce? Okay, so again, pretty uh, typical like first year algebra problem. If you want to uh, pause the video and look at this problem and study it for a bit, it'll probably take you a minute or two to actually um, answer uh, all three parts of this question. But if you could do this, go ahead and put your answers into the comment section I'm going to show you the uh, correct answers in just one second, and then we're going to obviously go through um, the steps to solve this particular problem. And hopefully this is not going to be too difficult. But again, if you're at the algebra one level or beyond, this is something that you should be able to handle. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so the first part of this problem is probably the, it's the most important part. And that is we want to write a linear model, okay, that relates the cost to produce books, the total cost to produce books, my, my kind of peed are a little bit there, it's a little bit better. <laughs> so uh, the total cost to produce books based upon the number of copies that we want. So we want to write a linear model uh, uh, that relates these two things, right? So it, we're talking about a function, if you will. So let me kind of go up here and think about it, right? So we have like a function machine, okay? And you're like, okay, I want to produce a certain number of books, okay? Uh, I, I would like to, um, you know, produce, let's say, 75 books. Okay, fine. You're going to uh, put it into your little function machine, and then, you know, the out, um, what comes out is going to be uh, what you owe, right? The total cost, right? So this uh, little machine is the concept of a function, right? It's a rule, right? And again, we are talking about functions. And a function is a rule, and typically you can kind of write it this way, f of x. Stylistically, there's different ways to do this. And again, I'll kind of talk more about this in a second. But this is what the problem's asking. Write a mathematical model that um, will tell you the total cost of production based upon the number of books you want to order. Okay, so here uh, you got to have uh, you have a good amount of latitude, but you're going to have to pick two variables. Okay, one for the total cost and uh, another variable for the number of books. You want to write linear models using y equals mx plus b, okay, the slope intercept form, because you could graph this. So let me just kind of go up here real quick and set this up for you because this is uh, important, okay? So let me just, uh, 
erase all this. There's a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're writing a lot of your models. You have the x-axis and y-axis because you could graph linear models. You could construct linear models from uh, scatter plots and all kinds of different uh, data. But basically, we have independent and dependent variable, right? So you can kind of think of a function like y. Well, let me write a line, equation of a line. y equals mx plus b, okay, or f of x is equal to mx plus b, all right? So this is a linear function. This is a linear equation. And again, we're talking about lines that can be graphed on the xy plane. So in this case, if x uh, is our input variable, right? So we're thinking about a function. This is our uh, independent or uh, input uh, variable, or independent variable, and y is our dependent variable. So what is you know one way we want to think about this particular situation? So our input is the number of books, right? We want to produce, okay? And then our uh, output variable, okay, which of course would be our y variable right here is the cost of uh, doing so, okay, in dollars, right? So x will be uh, will represent the number of books, and y would be in dollars, right? The total cost in dollars. So you have to be uh, specific about this. And again, different ways you can do this, but I'm kind of uh, trying to keep it uh, simple for this particular example. So let's go ahead again. And think about y equals mx plus b. So what's kind of the input? Well, the input is going to be the number of copies that we like to have. So that would be x, and y will be um, uh, how much uh, it's going to cost us. Okay. Now, when we're thinking about this, you have to say, well, uh, before we even you know get to produce you know even like one book, right? We're going to have to set, or we're going to have to pay this two hundred twenty dollars and fifty cents as a setup. That's a one-time fee, and then it's just $4.90 per copy. So we can kind of construct a nice model like this. So y equals 4.9x plus 2, 220.5. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, pay this amount right here as an initial one-time fee, and then 4.9, we're kind of, of course, we're just uh, using, um, you know, numbers here and not dollars, but it means the same thing. So we have 4.9x. So x would be what? It represents, again, the number of books. So if we wanted to produce one book, you can kind of check this to make sure your model's good. It would be what? Well, it would be 4.9 uh, uh, times 1. x is our, our input, right? That's our number of books we want to produce. So it would be $220.50 plus $4.90, uh, right, to produce one book, okay? So that's kind of one way you can kind of check uh, to see that your model is correct. And, you know, again, stylistically, different ways you can write this. You could even write uh, your uh, linear model this way. You could say total cost uh, to produce books is equal to 4.9 times the number of books plus uh, 220.5. Or you could write a nice linear equation like this. You're just going to have to define what y and x are. So, or you could even use kind of a function notation like f of x. Okay. So again, uh, different ways you could do this. And of course, I can't look at your um, actual results right now, but you have to be the judge whether in fact uh, you answer this correctly. Okay. Now, once we have our linear model here, okay, our linear function, then we can answer the rest of these questions pretty easily. So let's go to uh, move on to part B. So part B says, how much uh, to produce 500 books? Okay, so what's our input? Our input is gonna be 500, right? And then when we plug in 500 for X into this linear uh, function, it's going to give us our total cost. So it's pretty simple. This is how we use our linear model. So we're gonna plug in 500. Uh, that's the number of books we want to order up and produce. So what's the cost there? Well, it's going to be 500 times 4.9, which is 2,450 plus that initial setup cost of $220.50. And, uh, $220 so that total will be 2670.5. Okay, so that's how we get to this answer. Now, you, a lot of you could probably just reason through this and be like, oh, I, I don't need that linear model to figure this out. I could have just, you know, looked at the information and was able to get the correct answer. Now, if you got the correct answer, that's great. 
However, you know, if you got it without the linear model, then you, you're kind of doing it partially correct. Okay. You still need to be able to write linear models uh, because, you know, there's a lot more to this topic, you know, you can, in terms of like a linear regression, you know, I don't want to kind of get into more advanced topics, but you have to still be able to construct a linear model. Okay. So let's take a look at this last question here. Now, before we continue on, if you want to get better at math, you definitely can. But the key is to find a teacher that gives you clear and understandable instruction. So hopefully you like my teaching style. And if you do, if you're like, yes, I think I can learn from you. Well, then you will love my full main math courses. So uh, you can find the links to all of these courses in the description but they include basic math, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and a ton of specialized test prep math courses. Okay, so again, don't give up if you're having a tough time in math. I can definitely help you out. So you can check out the links to all these courses in the description. So let's get back to the video. So it says, how many books can be made uh, if you have a $700, $700 budget? for this process, right? So to answer this question, $700 is what? Well, that's how much we have to spend. That's our budget. So we're gonna solve for X this time. We wanna know how many books. Okay, so X is the uh, missing variable. Now, uh, the previous uh, problem, X was our input. That was the number of books that we wanted to produce and we wanted to know the total cost. Here, it's different. We know our total cost, okay, our budget here. We wanna know how many books uh, can we make with this total cost, $700. So we're going to plug in 700 for Y and solve for X. Okay, so when we do this, you can see the algebra here. So we have 700 equal to 4.9X plus 220.5. Uh, uh, so I want to subtract uh, 220.5 from both sides of the equation. I get 479.5 is equal to 4.9X. So I'm going to solve for X by dividing uh, both sides of the equation by 4.9. And what do I get? Well, I get X is approximate, uh, approximately equal to 97.85 on and on and on. Okay, the, the decimal continues on. So, you know, we are talking about number of books. Well, I'm pretty sure someone is going to say, well, listen, if you give me $700, uh, I will give you 97.85 of a book, right? <laughs> They're not going to say, here is your book, and here is uh, the 0.85 of this book. We'll just kind of cut some of the pages off. So you're not going to be able to afford to get that 98th copy, right? So we got this 0.85, that's not enough. So we're going to have to round down and call it 97. Okay, so again, pretty typical type of uh, problem. Uh, in terms of level of difficulty, I would say this is like, maybe a, a three out of 10, not too difficult, but it wasn't designed to be an overly challenging problem. It's really kind of a quick uh, example problem to remind you that you need to understand linear functions, linear models. This is absolutely, you know, kind of critical uh, concepts that you must learn in algebra. So if you need help with this stuff, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel that relates to these topics. But really, you know, we are talking about a lot of things uh, like that can get more involved in these type of problems like scatter plots, linear regression, if you don't that, know what that is, slope, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want my best full instruction, you probably want to go to my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.